Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 23rd, going to the 29th, so yes, the week that I'm posting this. Always late for you guys, I'm going to have to put you first next week, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, but I'm going to jump straight into it and see what's going on for you guys, okay? Let me just fix my screen very quickly actually, first, there we go, okay. Let's get cozy, Aquarius. I feel like that's got some significance. And the number four is really important for you this week for some reason. It's your fourth house, actually. So, like, your home, okay? Could be very important. I always say the four is, like, foundations and your stability. So, that could be very important. All right. Anyways, Aquarius. Aquarius. For Aquarius. There's so many. Spirit, no way. I'm sorry. There's way too many. All right, one more. Please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Ooh. All right, current energy, please. Oof. Who was the Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer who emotionally manipulated you? It's only for some. All right. I'm going to deal with this, right? All right, this is your current energy. Some of you could be waiting for closure here from somebody just bit my own teeth, like my teeth just hit together. Anyway, it doesn't concern you, but I just thought I'd say it. It feels like there is like a, a very uncomfortable situation that you've been in. That's what it feels like. And maybe because of betrayal, Maybe because of, you know, some sort of lies have been caught up, have caught up to somebody or um, maybe we've been self-sabotaging and now it's kind of caught up to you as well. Like there is this like energy in your current position of having some sort of deceit or I feel like this is like backtracking and you're the three of wands so this is a waiting energy. You could be waiting to find something out. But your intuition may have already told you it was not good. Or you could be waiting for, again, someone to come back to you. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Four of Swords. So you're healing from this energy still. Um, and the Three of Wands, what are we waiting for? The Ten of Pentacles. All right. Okay, okay. No quick scheme, sorry. Um, I kind of feel like you could be trying to rush something that needs some time. That could be healing. That could be your journey in general, okay? Like a goal. Because um, what you're waiting for is a Ten of Pentacles. And that's what the Three of Wands is kind of anticipating. This could be a home. Uh, this could be finances, all right? Prosperity and abundance of finances. Very stable energy. So again, I feel like you're currently in a very unstable energy. And you're just waiting for when am I going to be stable? When am I going to finally have that happy home, happy relationship, marriage, or just things being stable? And I think we could be running away from certain responsibilities, but this feels maybe internal, by the way. Um, some of you, I'm hearing you could be like cheating yourself here by cutting corners or stuff like this. Like, very sorry. This is a very random reading. I'm not going to lie. But this week, what I do see is that we're kind of being faced with responsibility. Let's just be honest. We have the clear up card coming through. So this card usually kind of comes through, at least in my mind, as a bit of like aftermath of the tower card. And it can be very difficult when someone has left you with the mess, Aquarius. And we've had a lot of difficult readings for you in the past regarding, you know, narcissism and, and people like that. And having 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 been through situations like that, having to clear up the mess, having to heal, having to kind of do that closure by yourself, like I do kind of feel like something has been left on you. This could be work, whatever it is. Someone has been Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get my words out, trying to figure out what this is, but I'm gonna say it in a very general way because it could resonate in a lot of different things. But someone has been very sneaky and kind of removed any responsibility that they needed to take on this situation and maybe left it all on you uh, if this is a past relationship i feel like this person is continuing con going to continuously not take any blame 
not be responsible at all for their mess. I even think that you might not even ever get an apology from this person or any kind of true closure from the situation, even if they do come forward, all right? Aquarius, some of you could have like Virgo energy, be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Um, our responsibility in this is healing from it. And I know it can be tough, especially where it's like, but they did this and, you know, all I did was good things. Of course, and we can't control others, but we can deal with how we're going to move forward from this. And sometimes it is a need for rest. Sometimes it is a need for healing. Okay, um, learning how to manage our emotions with the situation, especially when it has been a bit unfair. The clean up card is again kind of doing what you need to do. It's a very independent energy. The stag energy is all known for leadership and taking the lead and taking responsibility and, and taking action, most importantly. So there may have been some time where you, you know, were so affected by the towel that you know you've tried to deal with it the way that you needed to, but may not have been the most productive, of course, or the most or the best way of doing it but now that you've kind of got something out your system maybe very random very specific it doesn't have to resonate with you guys don't worry <laughs> but it's for someone out there now it's time to get into the serious stuff and to really actually clear it out this could be physically clearing things and no longer hoarding things and stuff like that but it's coming from a challenging time okay you then have chaos and conflict coming after this so this kind of feels like there is going to be some changes within yourself when this happens. Chaos and conflict can, of course, be, again, it's a very uncomfortable situation. One, that there has been a lot of chaos and conflict involved. There may be a lot of, like, chaos around you because of this kind of stuff. You know, whatever has happened, of course. What I always say of this is that the truth is being revealed. The true colors of people are being revealed. And that includes yourself. This is about learning to align yourself. You have a lot of threes in your reading. Two and a one goes to a three. You have three, three here. So three is about aligning yourself to a goal, to whatever the universe and you are working hard on, whether it's subconsciously or consciously. And it feels like a new you is coming through. I'm sensing a glow up here, but it's coming from like the most chaotic situation. It's almost like a diamond in the rough is what I'm hearing, or like a lotus flower. You know, from very like murky waters, this beautiful flower like blooms and blossoms and that's you. You've come from very difficult situations. So you're kind of doing the impossible. By the way, you then have loyal hearts, which another three is on here. So this actually speaks of kind of attracting in love. It may not be something that you want right now. And I actually kind of feel like you might bump into this person like very randomly Maybe when you least expect it, at least want it. But this is a very loyal energy. This is like emperor, empress. Regardless of gender, this is like a very beautiful balance of energies. It's like the yin to your yang if you want to be romantic. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Maybe something that deep down you're kind of wishing you had. Just for the stability of it. I think things have been so chaotic and up in the air for so long that you're just really wanting stability. What the blockage is this week? Two of Cups. So love is being blocked. The Emperor and the Three of Swords. There's a lot of pain. And I think that's why the Emperor energy is blocked. Because some pain has kind of been like very difficult for you to process and heal from. So there's been maybe a lack of leadership in your life. Lack of control in your life. Feeling like everything is kind of going crazy around you. Maybe there's a need for more masculine energy within yourself, regardless of gender, as I say. More action taking, more emotional control, or not just control, but maturity. Being able to kind of seek a plan despite the chaos that may arrive, arise, or seeking help even as well. This could be an Aries that kind of hurt you here. This could have, for some of you, this if it is in terms of love and it's a masculine energy, there could have been some chaos in the home when you were a child because of a masculine energy, okay? So there might be some wounds here that are for us to deep down heal from. This could be, again, blocking a masculine energy for coming into your life because of this pain that, that might come with it. Okay, so with the Two of Cups, 
there could be someone already in your life that is kind of waiting for you but you're just not ready for it because again you're healing from something you will be discovering people's true colors and i think you've already kind of been seeing it and you're going to continue to see it like you're really kind of being revealed the truth here aquarius of people their intentions and how you can deal with this moving forward or how you can react to this moving forward and i think it is just you're taking more control in your life clarify three of swords six of pentacles and the king of wands someone may have again been seeing two people at once giving two people a time and energy may put you and someone else in competition Maybe again, you're dealing with some like rejection wounds here, like a fearful of going towards that job because of fear of being rejected. Maybe because you were rejected, you know. If rejection is God's protection, as they say always, it, um, you can never miss something that is yours, as they say. So I think it's about understanding that. Two of Cups here. The Fool. So for the two of cups to be a blockage here is like lack of wanting to take a leap of faith here in a loving situation because maybe of your emotions, all right, a fear involved with this because of maybe your sensitivity or a fear of diving into that sensitivity, maybe a fear of stepping up into this um, divine feminine energy or maybe there's a lack of this coming through, a lack of knowing your worth. A lack of, you know, fear of choosing the wrong person or the wrong situation. Okay, this is about knowing you're worth enough to know that you can remove yourself from a situation if it ever does show you that it's not worth it, okay? I think that is a big fear here. That's why you don't want to leap into something because you're fearful of what you might find. Most likely because you dealt with a situation that, again, was very unpredictable. And then when a surprise happened, most likely betrayal or anything like that, or just an ending, very difficult times. Now you're fearful of jumping into new things because you're scared of the tower. You're scared of things falling apart. You're scared of things ending abruptly. Scorpio, strong Scorpio energy. All right. Anything for Aquarius, some advice? Wheel of Fortune. So good things are coming, especially if you've been dealing with bad things. Uh, energy here in bad times challenging times the will is always speaking of well it's a wheel of fortune so good things are definitely coming but it's always about the wheels always turning so if you've been through some challenging times some good times are coming in divine timing of course the universe is watching you have the sun card here so positivity joy happiness a lot of change coming through so you're going to be receiving some very good news and a very prosperous time this year. All right. This is something that you might be going into. But again, you're having to do the inner work. Yeah. Let's pull you some tea leaf tarot, Aquarius. Flowers. We have happiness coming in. Could be receiving flowers but of course this is just like blossoming something is blossoming something is growing you're growing aquarius we have something may have happened in november but again that is scorpio energy it's really coming up a lot in your reading all right for aquarius you'll receive a gift some of you are receiving something here it's very interesting anything else for aquarius this week Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So again, that's the leadership and responsibility that we have to take on this week. We have persevere and you will overcome problems. So this chaotic energy, you will manage it. You will take control of it. But you have to believe in yourself and persevere. All right, my angels. Let's pull you some animal spirit cards as well. To get some final messages for you, Aquarius. Chameleon spirit. This is saying act as if. 
this is a really good like way of manifesting by the way is if you know exactly what you want or who you want to become it's acting as if you have this already so if it's new love that you want it definitely has something to do with this ten of pentacles so great finances great home great stability in life great marriage or relationship or anything like this um act as if you have it already with emotions visualize it. it's really going to be very good for you okay my angels i love you guys wish you all the best good things are coming don't you worry aquarius i hope this reading has been helpful to you um thank you always for coming to visit me i wish you all the best and i hope to see you guys next time